What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Catawba Brewing Company, Morganton, North Carolina. This is peanut butter jelly time. Uh, very much looking forward to this. I've heard a lot of good things about it, uh, both in person. I've seen a couple of uh, reviews about it as well. Uh, so very excited to uh, very excited to try this. Uh, before we get there, just a, some notes from the brewery. Remember when your mom packed a PB&J sandwich in your lunchbox? The flavors all melded into pure comfort food by noon. Well, we created this childhood goodness in a beer. This light brown ale is brewed from five different grains and then aged for weeks on raspberries and roasted peanuts. Take a sip, let the flavors mingle in your palate, and enjoy our PB&J in a glass. This beer begins life as a light brown ale that provides all the bready qualities of the base beer. After fermentation, it is rested on whole roasted peanuts and all natural raspberry puree, which truly transforms this into a PB&J sandwich in a glass. 5.7% ABV, 10 IBU. Uh, it comes in a 16 ounce can, as you can see. All right. Uh, very hazy and just kind of looking at it normal it's a uh, I was gonna kind of follow the the trope and say peanut butter flavored but really it's a little bit darker than that uh, kind of a bronze kind of, or bronze or copper iced tea ish color maybe even a little bit darker than that um, though the, the the amount of haze and lack of light coming through certainly plays a role in that uh, the hold up to the light um, it's pretty much a pure orange into a lightish brown color. Um, you can see the head's pretty well gone already. There wasn't much to it, uh, even when I poured it. And, um, yeah. As I said, plenty hazy. I can barely not even really see my fingers through the other side of the glass. Um, let's give it a try. <laughs> I did not really take a taste there, but uh, holding up to my nose, plenty of uh, plenty of nice fresh roasted peanuts in the uh, in the aroma. <laughs> mm. It is as advertised. <laughs> Wow, that's really good. The uh, the the roasted peanuts really kind of lead off um, when you first take the sip. The the, the raspberry the the jelly portion of it is kind of more in the middle middle to back and even uh, a bit of an aftertaste, if you will. Um, wow. <laughs> but uh, they nailed it, man. They, that is... That is spot on. Uh, peanut butter and jelly. Exactly as they called it. Well melded. Huh. Uh, trying to go a little bit deeper. It's fairly light in body. There are kind of some bready malts um, underneath as a bit of a base. It's everything they say, quite simply. Uh, probably the only thing is there's a little bit of a a funny thing in the aftertaste. I don't know. I might just be getting kind of an odd, odd aftertaste from one of the ingredients, like maybe the peanuts or something. But uh, it's just just a little bit. Off putting is not not the the way the right word, but it's just a little bit weird. It's also not that sweet overall. There's uh, plenty of raspberry, but not much sweetness to it. But as I've said many times already, uh, they nailed it. They made exactly what they're shooting for. So that's a that's a really neat beer from Catawba Brewing Company. Wow, that is it for this edition of poorly reviewed beer. 
You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out P- PRB on Twitter and Facebook. You can find all those links in the description below. You can also find me on Instagram and Untapped. Those links are below as well. If you're so inclined, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer. Thank <laughs> you.